Yo, what's up guys, so today we're back in Tapping Simulator, and basically in this video I'm just going to be grinding bosses, grinding my bosses away, and we still have 4 minutes left on the slime, but that's no big deal because during that time, we will do nothing. No, we'll do the dungeon probably. And grind gears, yeah, let's go and grind gears in the obby while I talk. So basically, how you get insane tap power in this game is pretty simple right now. So it's not really simple, there's a lot of different aspects, but the first main one, I'll say, is once you get, like, 10 Super Rebirth tokens, you actually, all you have to do is stand in the boss arena to count as participation. It doesn't matter what kind of tap power you have, if, even if you turn, like, your auto tap off, or you're not clicking away, or something like that, it will still give you participation rewards. So once you get 10 Super Rebirth tokens, which you can get from literally any boss in the game, I'm pretty sure right now, so, um, then definitely go over and buy the Gauntlet World. With that, go and buy American Cowboy, which is definitely the first gear and definitely the worst gear as well. I'm pretty sure my American Cowboy right now is only at 942 power, while this one is at, at 1.06 million, and this one is at 1.07 million. And you're, and you're probably asking yourself, like, well, if you're only in the millions, how is your tap power at, like, 5 billion? Well, I'll get to that in a second, but first, the number one method is, um, yeah, but first, the number one method is grinding the obby. See, upgrade a random piece of gear you own right here. First, get the first two ones, and then if it's not in the third, then it's, and it's not in the fourth, then it has to be in the fifth, sixth, or seventh. But it's guaranteed one gear upgrade at least per obby, which if you run out of secret chests in your server or you just don't feel like grinding um just like server hopping and definitely go and do this is really quick honestly so if it's a really good thing like once i was at like 3 billion tap power before i started doing this method and i got insane amounts of tap power and like one thing i'll get like 0 0.5 from one thing which may not seem, seem like a lot but trust me within 20 minutes you can get your tap power up by 1 billion like who does not want that but of course you need a good cure for that first, so I'll get to that um, sooner, later, like later sooner, okay? So definitely, once you go here, continue to defeat bosses. Definitely do that first, and once you defeat those bosses, just try to get your gear upgraded, and if there's a secret chest in here that you can afford, definitely go and grab that. Once you have, you say, enough tap power to get through to this wall, I'm pretty sure it's at 5k now, um, like maybe 50 or 100 tap power to break through, get the second gear, and here's also a quick hack, how to get, um, that's probably going to be the title of my video, how to get all the, um, like, how to get all, all places in Gauntlet World unlocked in one minute, literally, this is not going to be clickbait, okay, so, I'm pretty sure this is it. Comment down below if I'm wrong, but just please, like, I don't know. I bought the Game Pass, so I don't really know anymore. Showstopper, see, 12 out of 12. Keep one world in the Gauntlet world per upgrade. So before I bought the Game Pass, it was actually, I went like this, and I bought it six times, and I didn't have the, these two gears unlocked. I didn't have, I didn't have Metrop um, Metropolis and... Um, and the other one, I think it's called Farm, with the Wanwood Shades gear, unlocked. And all of a sudden, after I bought it, I went in, and I unlocked them. So, it was, like, really, really weird. At, like, back then, of course. But now, I realize that they probably made it so that if you buy Showstopper, I'm not sure if this is, like, a bug glitch or whatever, or if they patched it. But, definitely just give this a try, okay? Seriously, like... If this still works, this will save you a bunch of time. And once you get a oh, hefty amount of Super Rebirth tokens, there's also a thing in the obby that says a hefty amount of Super Rebirth tokens, which actually isn't that much anymore at this stage in the game. It's 20 billion. So, once you get enough Super Rebirth tokens to buy maybe like a des Desert Planet or Sewers boss, or maybe Night Hall, those are really good too. So, definitely go and buy that. Then, once you go and buy that, go over and just start rebirthing rebirth to get maybe like 
just be worth at like 50 DD, let's say, and just get all of the chests in here. And once you get those, your cat power will go up by hundreds, if not thousands. So once you get like maybe 500 trillion Super Weaver tokens, then definitely just go and grind secret chests to start farming, um, server hopping and stuff like that. Oh look, this one's here. Um, just start farming, server hopping, stuff like that. And that's basically how you get insane top power in this game. Now, Super Rebirth tokens. That's a different matter and a much easier matter as well. Oh yeah, about the top power, I forgot. There's also the achievement thing. Just spawn in a bunch of low tier bosses. And and then you can just go like this. Well, I haven't had these yet. But otherwise, I've defeated literally every single boss in the game. And these will boost your tab power by either 0 0.8 or 1.5 every single thing. Which is kind of overpowered. But first, before you do that, just definitely get like maybe... Um... Just definitely get like a good legit tap power like 25 million and once you go up there times 0 0.8 times 1.5 it will go up so fast until it will literally like almost double every single thing and grind this and once you've got almost all of those maxed out start grinding the secret chest even more what's it happened just start grinding the secret chest even more and with that 100 secret chest if you have a time 5 achievement progress boost then uh then you'll wait a second. Just give me the boost, okay? Do you think we can defeat this here? Yeah, let's, let's just let's just try, okay? It's gonna be a lost cause, but this one will give me insane amounts of super rebirth tokens if I feel well not really really insane, but like decent amounts. Enough to give me maybe two or three QA. So um how much is that? Like two QA, okay. So definitely not bad right there. And I'm going to spawn in a couple of night bosses. This is probably the least used one right now since it's not good, so I won't get the pets from it. But it's not bad either, like the mothership bosses, where they're really, really cheap. And these are really cheap for me, but for some reason, I just never pay attention to them. I don't know if I. Comment down below if you feel the same way. Are you having a good day? So, I just spawn in these real quick for the Super Reaper token boost. Sapphire. Alright. Okay, nice. So retro shade one. I'll take it. It's not amazing, but it's not bad either. Blue Knight. Let's just summon that in real quick. Nice! And Iron Man Repulsor that upgraded by 0 0.2, which is kind of insane considering it's from like a boss upgrade. That's really, really good. So Iron Man Repulsor is. I think it might be better than my roadmap. Yeah, look, bro. They're the exact same. And that's kind of insane when you think about it. So I got five minutes of super rebirth tokens, and let's go and spawn in probably uh, undead crypt boss, which is one of the best. I love like this new modeling too. Like this, this looks sick. Not gonna lie. Like look at that. Oh, dang it. um, just go like this. Boom. There. All right. Let's go like E. One. All right. One spell if you can. One vial of five. One another skeleton hand. All right, all right. Okay, that's three skeleton hands. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This gives you so much, bro. This gives you so much you can't even comprehend it. It. Oh man, I don't want to open. Nah, eh, whatever. More for next time, I suppose. If you know what I mean. But I, I suppose it would have been just been better off if I got a two times. Eh. Whatever. I lost out just think ahead. And over there's the obby for people who don't like doing obbies, although it is really easy now. So there's that I guess. Six one fifty five QA, not bad. And let's see if we can spawn in a vial of eyes. Two out of three day. Um, so yeah, two out of three. That's kind of sad. And since one of these cost like three QA, that's a big oof. Oh, there we go, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's go, let's go. Alright. Um, by all the eyes. Let's go, bro. Let's go. So, yeah, there's that. And... Basically, let's just wait until this boss is defeated. And, yeah. I'm just gonna wait in silence here, okay? Alright.
Oh, nice. Nice, bro. That was not bad at all. So that's going to wrap up this video on that happy ending where we got 15 QA from. I will wrap up this video right here. Have a great day. Stay safe. And goodbye.